Create a plane. Scale it up a little bit. Delete the right side and add a mirror modifier. Switch on clipping. Extrude these vertices. Move these vertices. Create another plane. Rotate it and move it to the rear side. Add a cube. Move the mesh to the left side. Extrude the top vertices a couple of times and make the cube look like a pole. Delete the back, top, and bottom faces. Add an array modifier. Add a mirror modifier. Select these edge loops and mark the seams. Mark the sharp edges. Go to the shader layout and open the UV editor to the left side. Add new material. Add an image texture and open a suitable concrete texture. Select all and unwrap. In the UV editor, place the UV islands as per your needs. Apply array and mirror modifiers. Now all the poles look the same. To change that, move some UV islands. Separate the side walls. Unwrap the wall. Apply mirror modifier. Do the same thing to the back wall. Separate the bottom part. Apply the mirror modifier. Add new material to the top part. Add a concrete texture just like we did to the walls. Unwrap the model. Add a color ramp. Connect it to the roughness channel. In Blender, black is zero roughness. White is full rough. So invert the color lamp. Increase the contrast a little bit. Apply the mirror modifier of the bottom part. Add some loop cuts. Delete all the faces except one. Inset the face. Add some loop cuts. Bevel these edge loops. Select these faces and extrude them a little bit. Select the extruded faces and separate them. Select the corner edges and mark seams. Add a metal texture. Make it fully metallic. Select all and unwrap. Add the same metal material to the bottom part and unwrap it. Now join these two objects. Add an array modifier along the y-axis. Add a mirror modifier. Apply the modifiers. Now all the tiles look the same. So move some UV islands to add some variations. Add a cube, and delete the bottom face. Select corner edges. Bevel them. Inset the top face. Extrude it and bevel the top edges. Add new material. Add new material to the top part and choose an emission material for that. Duplicate the model. Add new emission material. This time choose red color. Apply shade smooth. Make sure you have already turned on the auto smooth. Place the model on the side pole. Join these two models. Add weighted normal modifier to get more correct smoothing. Add array modifier and mirror modifier. I forgot to assign red emission to the model. Add a cube. Inset the bottom face and extrude it along the Z axis. Select these edges and mark seams.
Add new material and assign a generator texture. I got this texture from textures.com. Delete the bottom face and unwrap the model. Place the UV islands on the texture as per your needs. Add a color ramp node and connect it to the roughness channel just like we did to the concrete. Create a cylinder. Select the top vertices. Add the cursor to select it. Use the spin tool to extrude the top face along the y-axis. Extrude the vertices. Extrude these faces. Put these vertices into the same level. Use the shrink tool to scale the faces. Select these edges and mark the seams. Place the pipes near the walls. Add new material and assign a rusty texture. Unwrap the model. Add a camera and render the scene. 